Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Red Wolves are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. McDonald has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Arkansas State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two. And they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them. And sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Look at the power. To the 20, to the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. The Red Wolves always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Three words say it all. Red River rival. Oklahoma and Texas. And for Oklahoma, their winning streak reaches five. The Sooners win it 24-20. And for the Red Wolves, I'm not sure the coaching staff needs any more motivation for their kids. But with that final in, they know they can move up in the polls with a win. They line up to kick this one away. Number four, deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And they finally make the stop at the 50-yard line. There was great blocking up front there, and that turned into a pretty good return. You know, the kick coverage looked very slow in getting downfield, and that really gave this young man an opportunity to make a play. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Oh, 
Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still second down. That's the kind of poise you love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards in a first down. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That'll make it second in inches. From the 27-yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Alabama! Catch and a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 55-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. We're even at seven in this one. Get set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle at the 16. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's going to try to throw. Can't connect. A halfback is usually not used to making throws like that. Believe me, that one probably looked a million times better when they ran it in practice. Second and 10. Ball on the 16. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He has some room. Tackle around the 43-yard line. White gains around eight yards on the run. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got the corner. Tackle, that's a decent pickup. Good yardage and a first down. Yeah, Brad, the tailback took the pitch and picked up a few yards there on the option. across the middle. It's intercepted. A 
That's a great tackle at the 41. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. Offense scoops it out, and they finally knock him out at the 14-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14. Touchdown time. And he adds the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And he's tackled at the 40. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. The timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense, and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there for a second. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Once and all, going deep. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He scrambled. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Seven yard play. It's a nice pickup here, although I'm sure they'd love to get their receivers into a little bit more open space downfield. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Quick throw picked off. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. Two 
from their own nine yard line. First down, Alabama is up by a touchdown. Quick strike to the receiver. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Grant on the tackle with the 50 yard line. First down. out to the tight end and he's got the first down really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it first down from the 38 yard first down taken down in the backfield this guy's just an amazing playmaker i'm sure we'll see him compete on sunday afternoons Around the 39 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and eleven. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Steps out of bounds. Around the 44 yard line. That makes it fourth and nine. Alabama up seven points. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball. But they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Got his man across the middle, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at the 46 yard line. in the jumbo set. Second down. Myers out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 40 yard line. That screen gets around six. It's a well designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. set as they hope to create another red zone turnover. Ready? 
returns back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. And this play is number eight on the drive. Play fake, looking to run. He steps out at the 10-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. It's a fake. What a play, and that is first and goal. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Check that, check that. Right here. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Here comes the pressure. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the two. It's second down. Fires incomplete. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. The Crimson Tide in front, 14-7. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on the SEC where the supersonic speed defenses wreak havoc. The Tigers relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. LSU leads it 14-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Arkansas State lines up for the kickoff. Number four, D210. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Lost the ball. Fumble. Defense has it. It's the linebacker, and he is drilled at the 20. And the ball changed hands now after the fumble. This is a great bonus for this defense. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football, and this is a result of their aggressive play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's tackled around the 17-yard line.
from the 17 yard line. Second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the two. They put everyone up on the line. He's scrambling. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. right. Touchdown, Red Wolves! Make it a triple dip, folks. You've heard the saying, a guy's in his zone. Right now, this guy's not stopping for anybody. Arkansas State, up six. And he hits the PAT. So a five-play, 20-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 26. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five wide. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Man left, man left. First and 10. Ball on the 39. After a decent run up the gut. The tackle. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Check And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Goes over the middle. Intercepted. Tackle around the 41-yard line. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Arkansas State is up a score. They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Yeah, let's get sack lunch. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Hey, 
He's at the 20. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. Ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Goes for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. Defense is getting a little excited down there. Encroachment. Defense. They're giving away free Still yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From their own 25-yard line. First down. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Call the loss of five yards on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 20. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game five on the play. That'll make it third and five. Throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Smith back to return it. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Red Wolves have had so much success here in the first half. Kirk, you got to look really in the third and fourth quarter if they get just maybe a little bit too complacent, start playing not to lose instead of to win. Yeah, they got to keep their foot on the accelerator. They're off to such a great start. I mean, this is exactly the way they had hoped this game would unfold, and it is. But it's a four-quarter game, and, and if they start to, as you say, get complacent, they give this uh, their opposing team a chance to come back and win this football game. Watch the throw outside. You know, I think this play works right now. And I wouldn't be surprised at all, Brad, to see this offense maybe go back to this play a little bit later in the game for maybe another big play. From the 31-yard line, first down. Arkansas State is up by a touchdown. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes it to the 17. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. Almost intercepted there.
taken down at the 21. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That brings up third and 14. From the 21 yard line, it's third down. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. the stop at the 12. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's tackled around the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 26. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. Gain of 11. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 39. Check my 39. Ready. Go. Check, check. Passes and it's almost picked off. Number three is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Sims is the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Cut in left, cut in left. Down, down. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Williams is the punter. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Arkansas State is up seven. Going right, intercepted. Inside the 30. And down he goes, right around the 20. That's now four extra possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's a formula that'll win you a lot of ball games. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Alabama just took their first time out. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Ready. 
Brought down at the one. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here they go. First and goal. Down by a touchdown. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown tied. He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. The defense has to come out and make a stop on the next drive so this offense can get to work again. They aren't out of this game yet. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 19-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Smith from the four. He gets hit out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Well, Herbie, if nothing else, we're keeping Reese Davis busy because the updates are coming from our game. Yeah, and the good thing about so many updates is Pollock doesn't have any room to talk because all it is is Reese and these highlights. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Zips it to the back. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. Throws it deep. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From their own 24-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. We've played a half. We've got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Kirk, the way these offenses are playing, it's like NCAA football 14, EA Sports. It's all over the place. Brad, this reminds me of me and you last night with the, with the controllers in our hands and both of us putting up points, even though you did a nice job there for beginner fighting. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it to the 18-yard line. getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Has some daylight. Nice run there. And brings him down. Gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. He's tackled at about 
the 33-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Steps out of bounds at the 34. So it's another third down upcoming here. He chucks it downfield. Doesn't get there. Well, the defender was all over him on that play. Here's the call That's by the referee. Defense. defense. Well, that's just too bad. Automatic they made down. the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Around the 34-yard line. Connor makes the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check it out. Pull down, pull down. Check right. Whoa! On the run. Big opening. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. This is the ninth play of this drive. Watch out here, and he scores! Touchdown! And he hits the PAT. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Offside. Defense. McDonald's ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets out to about the 21. And for Morgan, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's out to the 30. He's at midfield. They finally push him out at the 27.
First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. Inside the 10. They'll bring him down around the six yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Give to the tailback and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. down after a nice run up the middle. They get about four on that keeper. That makes it third and goal. So it's third down, but the offense is only four yards away from evening this game up. He's scrambling. And the end zone touchdown. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Arkansas State is ready to kick it away. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute put points up. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and wide receiver. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 17-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw. And they make the stop at the 25. Number 39 with the tackle at the 25 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. And he just gets rid of it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Williams is waiting for the snap. Smith fills it to 41, and 
And down he goes at the 48-yard line. This back's had a good day on the ground, Kirk. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. This kid's got to be one of the more electric running backs in the country. Already three touchdowns, and when he gets into the open field, you better look out. He wants it all going long. Number 84 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Positive yardage. That'll bring up 36. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's taken down at the 31. from the 31 yard line. First down. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's gotta do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, it's first down, five wide. And down he goes at the 13. two-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two. Drop deep, drop deep. No, 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 check that, check Let's that. Let's go! Left, right, left, right. Motion there. Hey, I need one over here, I need one over here. Easy, 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 easy. Quick snap. four, four. four. He's going to try and scramble. He's out of bounds around the one-yard line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. They're crowding the line. And he's tackled right around the two-yard line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. Stop short. So at the end of the third quarter, tie ball game here. We're all knotted at 28.
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. Second down. They've got their backs against the wall. Catch and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds at the 10. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He tries to get around the corner. Smith takes it at the 43, gets to about the 34-yard line. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Tackle right around the 20. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Easy, 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 easy. Run in. Scrambling around. Rose complete. Touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check in on the SEC where the supersonic speed defenses wreak havoc. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Tigers keep pounding away on the ground and they find Cater. LSU leads it 38-28. Reese, we got a great game going on here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Still looking to return. He really got a hold of that kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. made at the 19. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Yard line. That'll make it fourth and 
into. Williams is the putter. And he's taking it. Return for a gain of seven yards. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. They're about four yards away here on second down. Arkansas State is up by a touchdown. Makes it to the 45-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it third and one. Time right, time right. Two down, two down. My 52, my 52. Up and up. That'll be a first down there on the four-yard pickup from the back. You always like a tailback who can make a man miss, and that's what he showed there. It was a modest gain, but it got the first. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. They get four yards on the halfback option. That makes it second and six. down now and they need to get it down to the 31. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. 20, 20. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 24. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Alabama's going to take their first time out of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Let's go, let's bring it, let's bring it. Slings it. He's at the 20, and they make the stop at the 17-yard line. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. Fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. Alabama's out of timeout. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And 
he's taken down around the four yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. From the four yard line, it's second down. A little over a minute in the game. He's taken down at the one yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And he dives forward. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. How far will they fall? A complete stunner. An upset is now final. The Tigers grab a double-digit win. Elsewhere, the Rebels were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. This one was tight. The Rebels slide out with a four-point win. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. The Red Wolves know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.
Thank <laughs> you. 